charge has come in that's not working uh, I did connect it up and it isn't working um, it says connection break which on these uh, Chinese made chargers for lipos etc means there's normally something wrong inside so I've taken the screws out the bottom opened it up uh, to look inside it's uh, got a main AC section and a DC section but this is the board I look around to see if I can see anything burnt out and I notice that the uh, power fetch uh, at these aluminium heat sinks just sort of bolted onto them seem to be just floating in midair and um, this one seems to be a bit floppy so looking closer these the three legs on this fet two of them have actually broken away from the board so it must have been dropped or something or this is not very well um, <laughs> secured I mean the vibrations and the legs aren't meant to uh, hold it so I hopefully just by resolving these legs back on uh, it's going to work so we'll give that a go I soldered some braid across all three legs on the broken transistor legs uh, some braid that I got off of um, an old uh, brush which is um, quite good because it's uh, high current and you can um, get some good solder on that so I put it across the uh, three legs and I've also um, stuck some thick bits of double sided sticky tape under each heat sink to stop them vibrating so I just have to check it out I've put the uh, charger case back together again, connected it up to uh, a DC power input. Um, Going to set it to uh, balance charge. Put it on a balance charge uh, LiPo 2 cell, so set it to 5 amps, 7.4 volts. Now previously when it didn't work, if you press start it just said connection break. So let's see what happens now. Press the start button. Check in battery says it's okay, press to start and it's begin to charge point one, two, three, four, five amps and uh, showing 7.67 on the battery which is about right because it's only about half charged so that's good, uh, I can check it on the mains as well if necessary and um, get it back to the customer who should be happy